Hi everyone, I'm going to try and demonstrate the solution to the conservation problem because it's really hard to understand unless you can visualize it and just writing the solution on paper doesn't always convince people. So um, in this case, I'm starting with 14 of each of two kinds of pasta. Um, and so the first thing that you were asked to do was take some from the first group and move it to the second group. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five from the first group and move them over to the second group. And then I'm going to mix that group around. Um, so I started out with 14 of each. Um, now I've got minus uh, 5 because I sent 5 over this direction. Um, so now I mix those up and I need to pick 5 and send them back over to this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, and I move them over to this side. Now, um, this was minus five as well. Um, so you know that you now, you started with 14 and you took away five and put them over here, which gave you 19, but then you took away five from over here and sent them over there. So now you have the same number on each side, but that wasn't the question. The question was, do you have the same number of tortellinis in the side that used to be all rigatonis as you have rigatonis on the side that used to be all tortellinis? And the answer is yes, you do. You've got three, I call them strangers, over here and three strangers over here. It will always be that. And the reason for that is you have to mentally reverse. You have to have reversibility. And that's the hard thing in conservation. When you sent five tortellinis over, but two of them came back, you needed to mentally reverse the number of tortellinis you sent over. And it's like, okay, I put five over there, but two of them came back. So I know that there's only three over here. Since you had to send the same number over and back, if two of them came back, that only left room in the cargo ship, so to speak, for three to go over. In other words, if you were sending five back, but two of them were your original ones, you only had room for three, and so you had plus three over here. It doesn't actually matter how many you start with, or even if you start with the same amount. The only thing that matters in this demonstration is if you send five over or 10 over or however many you send over, you send that same number back. Um, and it can be any mixture of things, um, but since you're mentally reversing, you know, if any of the original ones that went over come back, you have to mentally reverse those when you're doing your calculation. So it really is just an addition and subtraction question. So the concepts here are reversibility um, and centration or decentration. In other words, you're centering on the probability of getting the same number, but it's not a probability question at all. It's a simple addition and subtraction question. And so what this is meant to do is uh, demonstrate for people how hard it is for a child to learn conservation. When we see the water pouring task, it's very easy for us to solve it once we know the answer. Um, but this demonstration shows you how difficult it is for somebody who doesn't understand the concept yet or, or isn't quite clear on the concept yet. So it's meant to be something that makes us feel like a child in terms of how difficult it is. So if you didn't get it right the first time, and most people don't, that was the whole point. Um, but think about reversibility and think about centration and how you're centering on one aspect of the task and failing to notice another aspect of it. So that's it. I hope that helps. I also put the written solution uh, next to your grade in the on the my grades page in Blackboard. Thanks. Bye.